Researchers at Tel Aviv University say they used MRI scans to look at how brains respond to political messages and found that right and left wingers perceive the world extremely differently. Well, Dr. Ya'ari Yashurun conducted this study and she's joining us right now to explain just what it is that she found. Thank you so much for joining us, Ayara. Can you first go into details about what did you find? Um, yes. So what we found is that the uh, difference between left and right wing uh, participants, participants that are holding left and right wing views, differed in their brain response already in very early uh, brain regions. So it's not like uh, what we knew till now that regions that are involved in interpretation and high level cognition differ in their response, but it's already in regions that process the visual input, the auditory input, the sensory input uh, that differ between them. Now, one thing we've seen, because this is not the first time we've seen research suggesting that there's differences in how the brain functions on a political map. I think the most famous was Jonathan Haidt's research about a decade ago of the moral and political leanings. But we're seeing more and more research that shows that it is very much a physical difference in the brain, in structures, in how we perceive things. What does this mean for so many of the divisive topics that we have in our society? Does it mean that compromise is no longer possible if our brains are directly different? Um, that's a good question. So I try to take a more uh, optimistic perspective on this. So what we found is more about the uh, brain response. It doesn't mean that, you know, it's a difference in the way uh, the regions are organized when you are born. It's just a matter of, uh, of you know, your opinions throughout your life. Um, and what I think that it means is that in order to have an effective um, discussion between the left wing and the right wings, we need to understand that we literally don't see the situation in the same way. So it's not that the same input arrives to our high level cognition. And I think we first need to understand how the other side sees it and then go to higher level concepts like uh, morality and, and, um, and so on.